All right, Shalom. First off, I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shah, by Hashem Rakaq We're going to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of the Great Millstone. And it says, Shalom to all the Akim out here that's doing and pushing the work in truth and in sincerity. I'm going to go on this topic, okay, I'm going to title this video A Spiritual Look at the Word Peace, okay? And I'm going to go through scriptures, okay, about uh, peace and um, what the word peace actually means, okay? Because that's the goal that we're looking for, okay? In this truth, the men of the Lord, we ultimately want peace, man. Okay. This is the Merriam Webster definition for peace. And it says a state of tranquility or quiet. Um, it says such as freedom from civil disturbance. A state of security or order within a community provided for by law or custom. Okay. Let's see what the word com uh, comfort says. Okay. Comfort. A state of physical ease and freedom from pain or constraint. Okay. The easing of, or alle alleviation of a person's feeling of grief or distress. That's a good good one right there, man. The easing, okay, or alleviation of a person's feeling of grief or distress, okay? Consolation, solace, condolence, sympathy, commiseration, support, reassurance, cheer, okay? Now, that brought uh, scripture to my, okay, from what Yahweh Shah said, Okay. Um I believe it is uh Oh, here we go. John 16 and 33. These things I have spoken unto you that in me you might have peace. You might have comfort. Okay? When you're going through this word, okay, this, this scripture, okay, this is in the red letter. So these are the words that Yahweh Shah said, okay, he said, these things I have spoken unto you, that in me, that's Yahweh Shah, you might have peace. In the world, you so have tribulation, right? In this world, we're going to have hell, man, okay? But be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. Okay? Let me get this scripture. This is Hebrews 12 and 2. Looking on to Yahweh Shah, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the same and is sat down at the right hand of the throne of Yahweh. Okay? And what did Yahweh Shah say? Okay. He said in Psalms uh, 10 and 7 Then said I, Lo, I come in the volume of the book 
it is written of me to do your will, O Yahweh Bashem Yahushua. Okay? So from the very front, the very beginning of the Bible, on to the end. Okay? The whole entire Bible. Okay? It explains what Yahweh Shah, uh did, the example that he set for us. Okay? And this, this, uh, this, this walk, this truth, okay. And and in order for us to find peace and comfort in Yahweh Shah through the scriptures, not through a man, okay, but through the scriptures, we this is our peace, okay. This is our comfort, okay. So continuing on. Okay, going back to the word peace. Freedom from disquieting or oppressive thoughts or emotions. The Bible, the Bible uh gives us those those things, man. When you're going through hell, okay, what did the Lord told uh Job, man? Okay. And I'ma just go through with the spirit, man. You know, I had a lot of scriptures up here. This this word, peace. This is what this is ultimately what the men of the Lord want, man. Okay. Job forty and seven. Gird up thy loins now like a man. I will demand of you and declare you unto me. Okay, so guess what? The Lord gonna put you through hell, like He did Job. Okay, and Job. He told Job, gird up your loins, man, because why? First Corinthians 10 and uh, 13. There is no temptation taking you, but such is common to man. But your help us from your side is faithful, who will not suffer you to be tempted above that you are able. So the Lord told Job, everything that you're going through, man, you can handle that, man. Okay? But will with the temptation also make a way to escape that you may be able to bear it. Okay? And how are we able to bear this? This this temptation and the tribulation that is in this world? Through Yahweh Shah. Okay. Because Yahweh Shah overcame the world. Okay. John 7 and 7. Uh, John 7 and 6 Then Yahweh Shah said unto to them My time is not yet come But your time is always ready We always going to catch out In this, this truth man Okay We always no matter which way you turn Which way you walk down the street Okay when you wake up What time, what time of day you wake up You going to catch out man Okay The world cannot hate you but me it hate. So when we go out there and we speak this word, okay, and and people uh dis despise us, they hate us. They, they actually hating Yahweh Shah, man. Because I test up testify of it that the works thereof are evil. Okay? Yahweh Shah was 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 you know, he ain't going around uh sinning or do anything. He ain't speak, speak no lie, okay? This is uh, Psalm 120 and 7. I am for peace, but when I speak, they are for war. What did Yahweh say? Matthew 10 and 34. Hey, 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 man. I wasn't thinking about this, you know, these scriptures, man. I, I, I was, hey, the spirit has just hit me, man. Like, it's going through this lesson, man. Like, I was thinking about, you know, going through all of these uh tabs that i have right here okay which i'll you know lord willing to be able to get to some some of them but the spirit just has me in you know other things you know uh other uh precepts you know and that's sometimes how this this truth goes man because it's not of us man it's of, of yahweh by some yahweh Shah, you know so what yahweh Shah say man think not that i am come to send peace on earth I came not to send peace, but a sword. Okay? 
So so right now we ain't in that time for for uh you know uh peace and enjoying uh this place man okay continuing on and I'm gonna get the etymology okay it says harmony harmony and personal relationship I mean personal relations a state or period of mutual concord before between governments a pact or agreement to end hostilities between those who have been at war or in a state of enmity used interjectedly interjectionally to ask for silence or calm or as a greeting or farewell and that's one of the reasons why we say you know salawam you know peace peace be on to you or salam you know uh peace Okay. Um this is uh from the etymology of the word uh peace, which was mid twelfth century freedom from civil disorder, okay, from old Ang Anglo French uh pais, okay, which is peace, reconciliation. Okay, I'm gonna look that word up. Silence, permission. Okay, continuing on. Compact, agreement, treaty of peace, tranquility, absence of war. To fasten. Okay, binding together. Uh, it says a pact. Oh, here go a good one. Replaced English, old English Freo, also seep, okay, which also meant happiness. These scriptures are supposed to make you happy, man. When you get into these, these this this Bible, you supposed to you supposed to you know feel the emotions that are wrapped inside of the, these uh, these scriptures, man. Okay, you supposed to you supposed to feel like damn, like I'm a sinner. I want to do 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 the right thing but guess what the Lord has has grace on us man okay the Lord is the Lord is 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 having mercy on us so so that comforts you okay you, you you're at peace okay the uh the ele elegance man or, or it says the free and unmerited favor of Yahweh is manifested in the salvation of sinners and the bestowal of blessings. So you might feel like, man, I ain't worthy of you know the stuff that 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 goes on. But guess what? Yahweh feels that you're worthy, man. You know these scriptures. These scriptures bring you peace. These scriptures supposed to bring you happiness. You read the, the scriptures about you know like Yahweh. Uh, passing away and the, 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 the you know the other things that are in the scriptures but guess what Yahweh is going to get that revenge man on his enemies okay we're going to get out we're going to get our revenge on our enemies man okay it says peace of mind okay these scriptures are supposed to give you a peace of mind it's supposed to be comfort in you okay it also says uh, uh, from the Hebrew Salon properly safety welfare prosperity okay sense of quiet absence or cessation of war or hostility okay um, that's pretty much it on that you know that all, all I'm gonna get okay but basically the men of the Lord are for peace, okay? But when we speak, they're for war, man. Okay? Um, it, the, the, the scripture above it says, why we are for, for, for war? Why are our words that we speak are for war? It says, Psalms 120 and 6, My soul has long dwelt with him that, that hates peace. Can't, you can't go nowhere in this world, man, and, and have peace, man. You can't. You, you you might sit up there and work and go on a vacation. 
right? You might go go to the mountains or wherever you know. Here's some 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 water. Okay, the water might sound beautiful, but you gotta go back home. You gotta you gotta go back to 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 hell. You gotta go back to to, to working. Cause you can't stay out there that long. You gotta, you gotta get a, a a hotel or something. You know, you gotta pay for that hotel. You 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 can't find peace in this uh, world, no matter how hard you try. You you can you can you know us men men you know that's one of the things that we love, man. The scriptures talk about like how Jacob was a plain man dwelling in tents. You know, just 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 chilling and you know, um, uh, and enjoying peace, not having to worry about um, people that are around uh, coming with their um, crazy uh, spirits and stuff like that. You know, like for me myself, okay, I'm what uh, people will call uh introvert okay which you know i hey, i enjoy being around people i enjoy being around brothers okay but then when 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 it's time to dwell down i get a lot of my energy from not being around people okay a person predominantly concerned with their own thoughts and feelings rather than external things okay Turn, turn one's thoughts inward and in spiritual con contemplation. Okay, intro to turn inside, I mean, to to the inside, uh, vert, vertier to turn. Okay, to turn to the inside. So when you're alone, you're able to, 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 to um, dwell on the scriptures. You, 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 you at peace. When you at peace and you, you know, able to, 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 be alone. You're able to, to to get deeper into the scriptures, man. Meditate on the scriptures, because these scriptures are, are are in us, and it's and it brings us peace, man. Because you got people that, you know, when they're alone, they don't know how to be bored. They don't know how to, you know, uh, just chill for a second. You know, they always got to find something to to do. You know, always on the move, always trying to 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 um to to, to uh, hustle because they don't they don't know what that what that piece is, man. Okay, which the piece is the scriptures. Okay, always wanting to hang around uh, wicked people and stuff like that. You know, which is nothing wrong with you know you got family members that are wicked and stuff like that. But I'm talking about like just straight up being out there on the the, the um. You know, club scene and all that stuff. You know, that type of stuff will get you out this truth, man. Okay, this this ain't the time to be partying, and and um, you know, uh, just you know, going out all the time and being a, just a social, straight up social Israelite. When you dwell with the brothers. Then yeah, that's a that's a beautiful thing. You dwelling with the brotherhood, okay? And it's supposed to be peace when it's with the brotherhood, okay? I'm gonna keep that definition up, okay? From the Merriam-Webster, but it's supposed to be comforting, man, because you got brothers, okay, that all around doing the doing what the scriptures say, okay? And that that alleviates. Your your uh your your grief, man. Okay, because you you're not around niggas. Okay, you you know that if you if 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 you in a time of need that 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 brother that that is right there, you know will be that be there for you. That's a that's a comforting thing, man. And if and if he's not, you understand that. Hey, y'all, but some y'all side got you, man. Okay. It's nothing that we go through that we can't, um, you know, uh, get through, man. Okay, Matthew 5 and 9. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of Yahweh Shemiah And when we go out there, 
and 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 we speak for for war, but but we are, we are for peace. We the we the real ones that that are that are for peacemakers. You know, uh, we are the pre peacemakers. Okay, we, because we're telling people, hey, this is not your rest, man. Okay, this is this is not somewhere where you wanna, you know, have a have a pension, man. Okay, 401k, you know, um, this is Micah 2 and 10, arise and depart, for this is not your rest, okay, see what this word rest says, okay, another word for rest is peace, okay, um, this is not your rest, I believe that's ma mana wa waka mana waka. Okay, and that word for rest, okay, is resting place, rest, quietness, comfortable, ease. Quiet, still, matrimony, consolation. Okay, this is not our comfort, man. Okay, you always gonna have to to to, to work and, and 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 make a killing just to live, man. In this society. Okay. When we go out there at the end of this this war that we we warn against this this world spiritually. Okay, when we go out there and we, we, we uh, make war for y'all by some y'all side, the Lord is going to fight for us, man. He's going to bring us that peace, man. Okay, now when we go out there, of course, the scriptures say, Romans 12 and 18, if it be possible as much as life, within, life in you, live peaceably with all men. Okay, but then it's another scripture in uh, the book of uh, Proverbs. Okay, where Yahweh, where the Lord, uh, said it himself that um, you know, when a, when a man ways pleases pleases the Lord, that he'll he'll make even his enemies to be at peace with him. Okay. Um. Just keep keep keeping going. This is uh Isaiah 59 and 8. The way of peace they know not. It's talking about the so-called white man, man. And there is no judgment in their goings. They have made them crooked paths. Whosoever goeth therein shall not know peace. You got these so-called Chinese people. You know, go go they 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 buy a, a, a store, they come come over here to America. Okay, they go to the hood and, and, and they end up getting robbed and you know and I, I I seen it man they sit up here thinking that they're gonna be able to make some money over here and the people that they trying to make money off of is, is, is robbing them you know hearing gunshots and disrespecting their stores straight up grimy uh you know uh Chinese uh, spots man okay uh, continuing on, um, Isaiah 62 and 6, I have set watchmen upon thy walls, O Jerusalem, Jerusalem, okay, Yerah, uh, Yerah, uh, Salakia, the, the word is escaping me, Yerah Wasalam, uh, I think it's your your route your um, which means a uh, city of peace. Okay. Um, which Jerusalem is a people before it's a place. Okay, it says which shall never hold their peace, day nor night. Ye 
that make mention of the Lord keep not silence. Okay, we make a mention of the Lord, y'all, by some y'all side. We're not supposed to be keeping our silence, man. Because there's no peace out here, man. Okay? No matter where you go at. When, when you're going to the scriptures, okay, it, 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 it's a grief, man. You know, to, 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 to get, you know, more knowledge and stuff like that, man. When you when you find out the way, you know, how they put pork in every goddamn thing, you kill yourself, man, trying to trying to go into the whole, you know, oh, you know, they got pork in this, they got pork in that. Kill yourself. Now, you don't just go out there and just go get some pork rinds and stuff like that or go eat a pork chop, but they put pork in everything, man. You know, and it's like you can't you can't be at peace with with that, man. You know, only thing that we can have peace in is the fact that the Lord has grace, you know, upon us because we're trying our best. Yeah, we're not eating pork, you know, knowingly. You know, so there's peace that the, the fact that okay, you you doing what the Lord said for you to do, just comfort him. I'm gonna I'm gonna still show you grace. Okay, this is basically a peace treaty, man. Okay, because you know we was fighting against, we was warring against y'all by some y'all side before we came into this truth, man. We was enemies before we came into this truth, man. Towards y'all by some y'all side, man. Now you come into this truth, and now you're at peace with y'all by some y'all side, man. Okay, this is uh. Jeremiah 6 and 14. They have healed also the hurt of the daughter of my people, slightly saying, Peace, peace, when there is no peace. And what? Welfare, Section 8. Those places, you know, the Section 8 places, especially here in Baltimore, are the, are the, are, are the worst places, man. I'm talking about they knocking them down, then you got what? Ben Carson talking about the poor people he said Ben Car this is this is what Ben Carson said man don't make housing for the poor too cozy Car Carson war warns and what do cozy mean man giving a feeling of comfort warmth or relaxation so what the 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 uh the which he's uh in charge of the the housing secretary of housing and urban development he said he said that he don't want this this, this to be comfort for the poor so it's so it's ben carson a man of the lord fuck no man He's not for peace. So, so we're warned against this type of nigga, man. Okay? We're not, the scriptures say this is not your, your rest, man. Okay? This is not your home. Don't get comfortable in this society, man. Get some more. Deuteronomy 20 and 10. When thou comest nigh unto a city to fight against it, then proclaim peace unto it. So when we when we are in our kingdom and we go to the, to take over these these uh these um cities, these these nations, we're gonna go up to them and we're gonna say, hey, you know, hey, you got your you got your chance, man. You know, it says, and if it so be, if it make peace, I mean, if it make you and um, if it make you answer of peace and open up to you, I mean, and open unto you, then it so be that all the people that is found therein shall be tributaries unto you, and they shall serve you. So, so if you want, if these nations want peace with us, okay. Before we go to fight them and we, we destroy them, 
they're going to have to they're going to have to be our servants man and if that's they're going to willingly be our servants if they're not then we're going we're going to have fun man making them uh uh be our servants man okay and if it will not then if it will make no peace with you but will make war against you then shall you besiege it and that's how we did back then man we, we're going to do that again when we take over these these nations okay we're going to give them that chance you get you get the chance well you be a tributary onto us man and you serve us man okay and we're going to know whether they they full of shit and everything but if they if they if they want to fight then we're going to fight man and it's going to be us winning man and it's going to be peace man Okay. Psalm 4 and 8. I will both lay me down in peace and sleep. For thou, Lord, only makest me dwell in safety. We're not going to have to worry about our enemies anymore, man. We're going to have that good, good bed, man. Okay. Not have to worry about using an alarm clock. Okay. Or, or getting what hoping hopefully you get eight hours of sleep you know you got a child or something like that and your child end up crying you know you end up going to sleep tired and shit man you know i i don't have that uh that problem but i'm pretty sure our brothers have that problem man you know you got a woman and she don't want to uh do right by you man you born against your woman when your woman's supposed to be giving you peace man this place is not peaceful man okay Psalm 34 and 14 depart from evil and do good seek peace and what wait, how you gonna seek peace by going to the peacemakers man okay and pursue it the eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous and his our ears are open onto their cries their cry because we cry right now man because this place is wicked man this place got to be destroyed so that we can serve the lord with, with you know with all our mind man okay with our mind body and spirit man okay psalms 37 and 11 but the meek so inherit the earth and so delight themselves in the abundance of peace. The abundance of what? No more niggas. <laughs> okay? No more having to step over trash. And pretty soon we're going to be stepping over dead bodies. No more civil disturbance. No more war. Okay, no more no more oppressive thoughts, okay, or emotions. Even with, with us, man, because hey, a lot of us are, uh, are, are going through a lot of um stress, man. If we ended up in the kingdom right now with these bodies, we're gonna have post-traumatic stress disorder, man. Okay? See what that say. Okay. A condition or persistent mental and emotional stress occurring as a result of injury or severe psychological shock, typically involving disturbance of sleep. Hey, we getting enough sleep here? No. Not getting enough rest. And constant vivid recall of the experience with dulled responses to others and to the outside world so if we went into the kingdom with these bodies we would have this man this post-traumatic stress disorder man you know waking up oh i gotta go to work you know all oh, the baby crying you know we're not gonna have to worry about that no more we're having new bodies okay these bodies that that's already hurting ailing us okay you're not gonna have to worry about that no more and it's gonna be a beautiful beautiful experience man 
but this is a this is a, a terrifying thing, man. Especially during the time of Jacob's Jacob's trouble, man. Okay. The stuff that we're about to see, okay. The 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 incorruption that that are in these bodies that we have, man. You know, it ain't gonna be in the kingdom. Okay. So I'm gonna go through my scriptures and see what else I have. Um, this is uh, Psalm 55 and 20. He hath put forth his hands against such as be at peace with him. And it's talking about the so-called white man. When they came over here to, to America. What did the Native Americans do? Okay, it says he have broken his covenant. He, they made a lot of covenants with them, man. And they broke all of them. The, the, the Native Americans, you know, taught them how to, you know, they gave them food, gave them, gave them, you know, peace, man. This world, this land, this land was at peace, man, before they came over here. And and and, and the, the, they was at peace with them, but but they don't give a fuck. You can't talk no sense to them. Um, continuing on, okay. Um, Isaiah 9 and 7. Of the increase of his government and peace, there shall be no end. There is going, there's no, not going to be any end of peace, man. And upon the throne of David and upon his kingdom to order it and to establish it with judgment and with justice from henceforth even forever from here and forever okay the lord is going to establish the kingdom okay and order it and it's going to be with judgment and justice it says the zeal of the lord of hosts will perform this okay isaiah 26 and 3 thou wilt keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed upon stayed on you because he trusts in you so the ones who who trust in the Lord, you know, they're they're gonna uh, they're gonna uh, they they're, they're gonna be in perfect peace, man. Okay, because they trust in y'all by seeing y'all side. Okay, this is uh, Isaiah forty-eight and twenty-two. There is no peace save the Lord unto the wicked. Okay. So, I'm going to get this last scripture. No, you know what? I'm going to get two more scriptures. I'm going to get uh, this last scripture and I'm going to end it on, a, on a, uh, another par a parable in the scriptures, okay? Isaiah 57 and 1. The righteous pers perisheth, or perish, and no man lays it to heart. And merciful men are taken away. None considering that the righteous is taken away from the evil to come. When <laughs> they don't, these people don't, don't, don't mind or, or, or know that when a, when a, when a righteous man dies, okay, in this truth, they don't look at it like, you know, that, they, that they're taken away from the evil that's about to be, that, that's about to come, man. So that's a good thing when somebody passes away in this truth, man. You know, that's the Lord having mercy on them from, from, um, in front of the destruction that's about to come. It says, he so enter into peace. They so rest in their beds. Each one walking in his uprightness. Okay. This is Mark 4 and 35. In the same day, when the even was come, he saith unto them, Let us pass over unto the, the other side. And when they had sent away the multitude, they took him even as he was in the ship and there were also with him other little ships and there arose a great storm of the wind and the went the waves beat into the ship so that it was now full and it was in the hinder part of the ship i mean and he was in the hinder part of the ship asleep on a pillow and they awake him and say unto him master carest thou not that we perish and he arose and rebuked the wind and said unto to the sea, Peace, be still. 
and the wind ceased and there was a great calm and he said unto them why are you so fearful how is it that you have no faith and they feared exceedingly and said one to another what manner of man is this that even the wind and the sea obey him so when this this dc the, the water was messing this boat up man Yahweh Sa was in that 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 you know the um the, the the ship and he was asleep on the pillow man he was calm through that storm he was at peace through that storm and guess what when he when he arose he he, he told the, the the storm to be peace peaceful man he rebuked the wind and he told it to be peaceful man yesterday here in Baltimore the day after the the, the Passover okay you had schools that got out for 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 wind, man. Never heard of that. Never heard of uh, of schools getting out for wind. Okay, Yahweh Sha is able to rebuke that type of wind, man. This is right after the Passover, man. Okay, even stronger winds about to come, man. Okay. So so if Yahweh Sha can rebuke these winds. And, and, and go through this hell, okay? And and, and tell the everything around it to to, to be pe to, to to be peaceful and to be still. Why why would you want to serve something like that? A, a power, okay? Someone who has that power to do that those things, man. Okay, the one who gave them the powers. Yahweh by some Yahweh man. Okay, so Lord willing, this was edifying, man. And this was peaceful too. <laughs> you know, but I want to say, uh, Salam Warm till next time, and Lord willing, this was edifying.